everybody, it's Emily here from the Pamper Chef again. What I want to do just now with you is just to demonstrate how we do a very quick, what we call in the trade is chalk and bung recipes, which means as you chuck all your ingredients in and you bung it all in and you stick it in the oven and you leave it and it's ready. And I'll tell you more about that when I talk the full stoneware talk. The reason why I'm doing this tonight is I'm just in from work, I have got to go back out in an hour and a half, two hours time, I've got to get tea in the oven, I'm running around, I've got to go and walk the dog and I really need to go very, very quickly. So this is absolutely brilliant. You've got kids got to go to clubs, you've got all, all sorts to do, get yourself a piece of stone, a stoneware and get it in um, the oven for you. So what I'm doing here is I'm doing um, quick no stir risotto for tea tonight. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all my ingredients in this um, rectangle baker which I did the um, roast chicken in on Sunday. And I'm just going to throw it all in and I'm going to throw it in the oven. So I've got one cup of arable rice and I, I never ever, when I'm doing um, like dinners, I find it very really measure. But if I'm baking I do measure obviously because you have to. So I've chopped the rice in here dry. I've already chopped up my onions, my peppers, oh, my onions, my peppers and my mushrooms using the food chopper and I'm doing a chicken and mushroom risotto and um, I've added a bit of pepper and stuff in there for a bit of flavour as well so I'm going to chuck all that in and these flexible cutting mats are absolutely brilliant if you go camping, caravanning um, and they just bend over your pots like that it's, it's so easy, it takes up less space and very very light for you so I've chopped that in. I'm then going to chuck in some frozen peas. Excuse me, I'm going to put this drawer. I'm then going to put in some chicken from the roast dinner that I made. Um, so it's cooked chicken and I'm just going to throw it all, well, most of it in. Um, I'm not even going to chop it up, I'm just going to throw in the risotto. I'm then going to add in three um, cloves of garlic unpeeled so I'm going to get my garlic here so I've got the garlic and I've still got the skin on it I'm sticking it in the garlic press with the skin on I'm putting the lid down on it and I am squashing this up now you'll see this better when I actually show you the gadgets um, on one of the other videos. So you just press that down. Sometimes you need a bit of welly with it. And this one. Oh, that clearly didn't work for me tonight because my fingers are sore. Sorry about that. Do it a smaller one. Go in. There you go. You can see a big fresh bit of garlic had gone in there. Oh, bear with me. Right, thank goodness for that little table lying there. Another one, and throw it in, throw it in, chuck it in. Now she can see it coming out, squeezing it out. And we've got a little brush in here. And some little girls tend to call it a barber brush, and some little girls will go and play with it as a barber brush. I need my grandkids. Um, but it is a cleaning tool so that you don't have to get your hands covered in garlic because before I came to Pamper Chef I did lose the garlic for that reason hated my hands smelling of it I've now got this and it's absolutely growing but the secret is make sure your garlic gloves you're not putting two or three bobs in at a time which I did do there right so then I'm going to do is give all this a stir in here as you can see, it's all in. And then I'm adding roughly about four cups of chicken stock. And the reason why I'm adding in the four cups is the rice soaks up a lot of water. So I'm going to throw that in. I'm going to give it a quick stir. That way, I'm going to give it a quick stir. Excuse me, that's my dog barking. If I'm going to somebody come to the door, you're going to get a bit noisy. Right, so that's, then that's basically a very quick um, weekday evening meal. So there you go, it's all in here. And I'm going to chuck it in the oven. 
for about 40, 45 minutes. I'm going to go and walk the dog. I'm going to get ready. I'm going to come back just as tea's ready and I'm going to show you it finished. So bye for now. Thank you.